So starting off our list today at number 10, we have Brooke Burke. Brooke Burke has somehow been able to stay in her Hollywood cover girl shape into her 50s as the Jane the Virgin actress claims it's because she likes to stay on top of the latest health trends. When she told the Daily Mail, I'm obsessed with biohacking and doing a deep dive into innovative longevity opportunities. And it feels amazing. So if you don't know what biohacking is, it is known as human augmentation or human enhancement. And it's pretty much a do-it-yourself biology, improving performance, health, and well-being through strategic interventions. Some biohacking techniques can include things such as meditation and intermittent fasting. Brooke also went on to name her top three exercises she does every day when she said, I like to stretch and do a booty burn circuit, as well as child pose push-ups. Before noting that her four-week booty challenge is timed out to be just 10 minutes a day, and it is a full circle of every move to tone, tighten, and lift her glutes. She also likes to employ in body sculpting, yoga, meditation, red light therapy, vision workshops, and crystal sound bath healings. Number nine, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is no stranger to diet controversy, but her 2022 weight loss for the Met Gala prompted concern from experts who said her extreme tactics were potentially unhealthy. When Kim said she lost 16 pounds in a matter of weeks, by cutting out sugar and carbs as she just ate the cleanest veggies and protein. She would also note that she ran on the treadmill and wore a sauna suit so she could shed the pounds even more. However, cutting carbs and upping the cardio may result in weight loss initially, much of which may just be water weight and it can often lead to rebound weight gain known as yo-yo dieting that may worsen health issues over time as it's really only healthy to lose one or two pounds a week. And it's more ideal to make small achievable changes to your lifestyle and daily habits, so don't do what Kim did. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, you know, subscribe to the channel. Coming at number eight, we have Rebel Wilson. When Rebel Wilson kicked herself into an overhauled lifestyle in 2020, she declared this would be her year of health. As part of the changes, she reportedly started to file a diet based on theories an Austrian physician developed about 100 years ago, also called the Mayer Method, which is pretty much a common complex set of habits that has become a basis of treatment at the Viva Mayer, a chain of luxury wellness and medical spas that are beloved by celebrities. Experts have claimed that the Mayer method is a mix of good advice and a persuado science nonsense. For instance, the diet emphasizes mindful eating or slowing down to enjoy the experience of your food, which can be a great way to get in tune with your appetite and avoid overeating. However, the instructions to chew at least each bite 40 times is a little excessive, according to dietitians. Similarly, the Mayer Method's principles of cutting out caffeine, sugar, and dairy, and non-snacking between meals or eating raw food after 4 p.m. just aren't really science-based. The diets of so-called high alkaline foods like fruits and veggies are healthy, but they're nutrient dense, not because they actually balance your pH levels, like experts say. Number seven, Beyonce. So back in 2006, Beyonce told Oprah that she lost weight for her role in Dreamgirls by using the Master Cleanse diet, a restrictive juice fast, but now it just seems like she's promoting other extreme plans. So the Master Cleanse is a 10 day juice cleanse that requires participants to eat nothing and drink only lemon, maple syrup, and cayenne pepper. And let me just tell you, the concoction isn't worth it, as for one, it tastes disgusting and restricting your calories to just a lemon drink means you won't get essential nutrients and the lack of fiber, protein, and healthy fat fats will make you feel sluggish and feel hungry for the entire diet. The diet can also lead to heart and kidney problems as well as long-term weight gain. But most recently, Beyonce has been selling access to her plant-based recipes for a 22-day plan that provides any member who wants to do it a 1,400 calorie a day diet and somehow it contains a green smoothie with eight teaspoons of sugar. This diet can also be dangerous for the average person to follow without a team of nutritionists and trainers like Beyonce has. So maybe don't try it. Number six, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey swears the reason she has been able to stay in shape is thanks to Norwegian salmon and capers. In an interview with E! News, Mariah would tell the outlet, it's really hard my diet, you would hate it. All you eat is Norwegian salmon and capers every day. That's it. She further clarified, she's tried to stick to proteins and it's the worst. Although eating protein can help you keep satisfied throughout the day, eating nothing but salmon 
salmon means you won't get critical nutrients found in food like vegetables, fruits, and grains. It should go without saying, eating Mariah's diet isn't really sustainable in the long run either. And if you're really wanting to lose weight and keep it off, you really should be following the food guidelines and matching it with your daily exercise routine. Number five, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's bizarre weight loss trend involved him following a fast called Daniel Diet, which strangely enough is inspired from the Bible. So the Daniel Dieters trend involves participants to eat fruits, vegetables, and unleveled bread for 21 days straight. With the overall goal of regaining focus on Christ-centered its teachings, according to the Daniel Diet website, like other restrictive diets, the diet relies on the idea that the body needs to detoxify itself. But a special eating diet plan isn't necessary to make this happen. Diets that severely restrict calories or types of food you eat usually don't lead to lasting weight loss, and it may not provide you with all the nutrients you need. So just because a company claims that their trend is good because it revolves around the Bible doesn't necessarily mean it's the right trend for you. So before you try any diet, consult in your doctor, a nutritionist, and a trainer. Number four, Shailene Woodley. Shailene Woodley is known most for her roles in Divergent, Fault in Our Stars, and Big Little Lies. And now because of her weird weight loss trend that revolves around her eating a half teaspoon of clay and drinking eight ounces of water every morning. She even once told a beauty blog, clay is one of the best things you can put in your body. What's even more shocking is that apparently Shailene heard about all of this from a taxi driver and she went on to say, it binds to other materials in your body to help you get rid of negative isotopes. And before you go and try this trend, just know it's all bogus and your kidneys and liver don't need help processing toxins. Also, while clay might have trace amounts of some beneficial materials like iron and calcium, there are better ways to obtain them, like for instance, by eating foods rich in those minerals such as spinach, broccoli, kale, and nuts. Number three. Marilyn Monroe. So in a 1952 interview, Marilyn Monroe described her dieting choices as being absolutely bizarre. And she wasn't exactly wrong as the late actress was eating raw eggs whipped into milk, which heads up, don't try as it could lead to salmonella poisoning. And she also skipped lunch before a dinner of steak and five carrots. The whole diet can easily cause a dieter to lose on essential nutrients. And if you were wondering how the actress would finish the night, she would always eat a hot fudge sundae for dessert. The late actress's diet appears to be an attempt at calorie restriction and high protein diet, but eating so little fiber and fresh produce can lead to nutrient deficiencies, heart problems, and the feeling of sluggishness. Number two, Miranda Kerr. Like many celebrities, Miranda Kerr from time to time likes to go on the juice cleanse wagon. So lately the juice cleanse has become a huge part of celebrity diet culture, as many believe these cleanses are meant to flush the body of toxins and add Act as a dietary reset. Even though these aren't science backed weight loss methods, whether the cleanse involves foregoing meals altogether or replacing select meals with juice, the concept of a juice cleanse doesn't really match up with human biology. The body has a built in detox system that gets rid of toxins and pricey sugar water. Even registered dietitian Rachel Hartley once told Insider We go to the bathroom. When our liver is functioning, the body does all the cleansing and detox itself. There's no need to follow a certain diet plan to do that. Also, not to mention restricting calories so severely could certainly result in weight loss, but at the cost of feeling tired, hangry, and being unable to keep the diet up for more than a week's time. And if you tried longer, you'll definitely become nutrient deficient. Number one. Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera's diet was based on the 2003 book Seven Day Color Diet, which was written by Jessica Weasel Courtney and Mindy Weasel. In the book, dieters are told to eat foods in only one color group each day, consuming items that are white, green, orange, purple, yellow, and rainbow. And in that order, the thinking is that this way of grouping food ensures dieters to get all the nutrients because different colored foods offer different ones. Although limiting yourself to one color 
day isn't unhealthy as long as you mainly eat unprocessed fresh foods, the same effects can be achieved if a person eats colorful, nutrient dense meals every day for a week. The diet may also be difficult to follow for some people, so eating a simple, balanced, and rainbow colored diet is also fine too. Starting off this countdown, we have Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson said that 2020 was the year of health for her and decided to document her weight loss transformation on social media. Now, Rebel has had it rough for years. She was constantly fat shamed by the media, and she said that people treated her differently when she lost weight. She said, and I quote, Sometimes being bigger, people didn't necessarily look twice at you. And now that I'm in a good shape, like people offer to carry my groceries to the car and hold doors open for you. I was like, is this what other people experienced all the time? Not only that, but Rebel couldn't lose weight while she was filming Pitch Perfect. Her character's name is Fat Amy, and well, according to her, she couldn't gain or lose 10 pounds, which is insane. Hollywood was literally controlling her appearance. But after Pitch Perfect, Rebel told herself it was time to lose weight. Now, this decision was made by her desire to be a mom. Now, Rebel has polycystic ovarian syndrome, which can affect fertility. Well, during a visit to her fertility doctor in 2019, she was told that she would do much better if she was healthier. She said, and I quote, I was taken aback. I thought, oh god, this guy's so rude. He was right. I was carrying around a lot of excess weight. It's almost like I didn't think of my own needs. I thought of a future child's needs. That really inspired me to get healthier. From there, she dropped more than 70 pounds. She said that she did so by eating healthier and focusing on physical and mental self care. In our ninth spot, we have Demi Lovato. Now, in the past, the singer and actor revealed that her weight does fluctuate and that she has suffered from bulimia. In March of 2021, she posted on Instagram showing off her midriff, saying that she accidentally lost weight, which was most likely stress related. Lovato then went on to embrace her naturally curvy body, which is gorgeous. But just recently, Lovato showed up to the Hugo Boss runway show in Miami looking thinner again. Demi rocked a sleek white crop top that showed off her midriff, and she paired this with a flowy maxi skirt and a sheer coat. She looked dang good. And she seems to be doing good as well. She revealed that she no longer counts calories, she no longer over exercises or restricts slash purges. And she doesn't live her life according to the diet culture. Amen, Demi. The way it should be, I'm proud. Coming in at number eight, we have Jonah Hill. Back in 2018, Jonah Hill announced that he was starting to transform his body with martial arts. On social media, he wrote that he was trying to train four to five times a week. He continued on saying, and I quote, at 35, I try and get over the stuff that made me feel weak and insecure as a teenager. It's just wasted time and lessons you'll never learn. It's trying to let go of that. In 2021, Jonah really slimmed down. Down. In fact, he took to Instagram to say how proud he is of his weight loss and of his body. He posted an image from the Daily Mail that was talking about him surfing in a wetsuit and a paparazzi photo of him shirtless. He responded to this saying, and I quote, I don't think I ever took my shirt off in a pool until I was in my mid 30s, even in front of family and friends. He continued on saying that his childhood was filled with insecurities. I mean, he was constantly bullied by the media for his appearance, but now he's is not bothered by any of this anymore, which is amazing. Coming in at number seven, we have Kelly Osborne. Now, Kelly's drastic weight loss shocked fans. In 2021, she posted a photo to her Instagram, and fans were confused. And that's because she didn't even look like herself in this photo. One Twitter user wrote, Amazing what surgery can do, while another asked, Did you also get lips done or makeup done all around them? Look way different. Someone else added, Who is this? I'm very confused. Now, in the photo, Kelly's face looks very slim, but also, it looks like she got quite a lot of work done. Now, what I find crazy is that Kelly said that people cared more about her weight than they did when she was suffering from addiction. This just shows you how mess society is. Now, Kelly is very open with her weight loss. She said that she underwent weight loss surgery. She got gastric sleeve surgery, which basically 
surgically, a part of the stomach is removed to reduce its volume. Now, when you get this surgery done, it can be hard to keep the weight off. But Kelly says that she changed her diet as well. She is now on a plant based vegan diet and also does intermittent fasting. Not only that, but she beat her addiction to alcohol, which has also helped her figure. And at number six, we have Khloe Kardashian. Now, we have seen Khloe's figure change quite drastically through the years, sometimes by Photoshop, other times by surgery. Now, the press always had it out for Khloe. They often labeled her as the ugly fat sister, which negatively impacted her and her confidence. For years, she felt the need to diet or lose weight to prove herself to the media. She told the media that she started focusing on losing weight after her divorce from Lamar Odom. After that, she lost 30 pounds. Her secret was working out. She used working out as a coping method from all the stress from the divorce. But some fans have gone too far in their speculation about Chloe's method of losing weight. Some have accused her of undergoing weight loss and cosmetic procedures. Others think that she was being very restrictive with her diet and excessive at the gym. Nowadays, Chloe said that she's at the point where she loves her body and she's more confident. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with June Edith Shannon, who we know best as Mama June, aka Honey Boo Boo's mother. The reality TV star started her weight loss journey with the show Mama June from Not to Hot, which don't get me started on how toxic this show is, basically saying that the only way she could be hot was to lose weight. Anyways, as part of her glow up, Mama June decided to undergo gastric sleeve surgery and then she later had a tummy tuck. As a result, she went from 500 pounds to 150, a huge, huge difference. But she later revealed she didn't feel healthy being at 150. She said, and I quote, yeah, when I was a size two at 150, I was way too damn small. Now I'm 250 and I feel good. Even when I was 500, people didn't believe I was 500. She now is no longer focusing on her weight. Instead, she decided to shift her focus to beating her addiction. In our fourth spot today, we have Adele. Adele first started losing weight in October of 2019. While doing so, she kept it all on the down low. That was until Christmas of that year when she posted a photo on Instagram showing off her new figure. Her weight loss started after her divorce from her ex-husband. From there, she started to lift weights and do circuit training. She said, and I quote, I do my weights in the morning, then I normally hike or I box in the afternoon, and then I go and do my cardio at night. I'm an athlete. Now, Adele didn't do any any magic diet or fad. She lost the weight by consistently working out for two years. Now, she said this amazing quote, which I think everyone should hear. She said, I was body positive before my weight loss and I'm body positive now. Amen to that. We need more celebrities promoting body positivity and loving yourself no matter what your size is. But it's sad that celebrities feel forced to lose weight. In an interview with Oprah, Adele revealed, and I quote, my body has been objectified my entire career. But in the end, Adele revealed that she lost the weight for herself, not because of the media's pressure. In our third spot, we have Drew Carey. Comedian and game show host Drew Carey lost 80 pounds in 2010 after being on a strict diet and exercise. Now, his reason for weight loss was because he said that it sucked being fat. Now, that's a really harsh statement and it seems a bit fat phobic to me. In an interview with People Magazine, he said, and I quote, I like being skinny. I was sick of being fat on the camera. I just got sick of it. So his reason for weight loss was because he didn't like the way that he looked on camera. Like I've been saying, celebrities feel pressured to look a certain way for the cameras, which really affects their confidence levels. Now, Carrie took this weight loss seriously. He was on a very, very strict diet. He cut out carbs completely. He didn't have corn, beans, or starches of any kind. He would snack on fruits and veggies and turn to egg whites or Greek yogurt for breakfast. He also does about 45 minutes of cardio when he can. Not only that, but he didn't drink anything but water. No milk, no coffee, tea, soda, alcohol, nothing. In the end, he actually beat his diabetes. He had type two diabetes, but not anymore. Coming in at number two, we have Chris Pratt. Fans were left speechless and wanting more when they saw Chris Pratt turn his dad bod into a trim body with six pack abs. He did this for his 2014 role in Guardians of the Galaxy. Anyway, Pratt revealed that he actually had to gain weight for his role in Parks and Rec. He hit about 300 pounds and that's when he said, and I quote, he felt impotent, fatigued and emotionally depressed. I personally find it crazy when celebrities drop their weight drastically or gain weight drastically all for movies or TV 
rolls. Like that is not healthy at all. Especially when they go from one extreme to another. When he auditioned for the Marvel movie, he knew that he had to lose the weight. So he worked with a trainer six days a week, three to four hours a day, going through extremely vigorous workouts. In the end, he lost 60 pounds in six months and kept it all off for his role in Jurassic Park. And in our number one spot today, we have Mindy Colling. Now, Mindy actually sparked a lot of controversy regarding her weight loss. And that's because fans are convinced that she did this in unhealthy ways. It all started when she made an appearance at the Oscars. Her dresses were stunning, by the way. But anyway, people quickly jumped online and started gossiping about her appearance. Viewers speculated that she was using Ozempic, which is a brand name for a diabetes and weight loss drug. Meaning a number of celebs probably use this drug for their weight loss. But as of now, the actress has not address these rumors. But when speaking about her weight loss, Mindy said, and I quote, Honestly, I didn't really do anything differently. I eat what I like to eat. If I do any kind of restrictive diet, it never really works for me. I just eat less of it. Mindy also revealed her bad relationship towards food and exercise, saying that she would overeat or eat as a coping mechanism, and she would look at exercise as a punishment. But now she has changed her outlook of eating and exercise, and it allowed her to lose more than 40 pounds. Alright folks, that's all for today's video. Again, I just want to say that these celebrities were all amazing and beautiful before and after their transformations. They don't have to look a certain way to be hot and neither do you. Body positivity comes in all shapes and sizes. Coming in at number 10, we have Erin Moriarty. Erin Moriarty, who plays Starlight on The Boys, has been linked to weight loss speculation, as fans believe that she has undergone surgery on her face and has had liposuction done to lose weight as she looks way too skinny now. Meanwhile, some even believe that Aaron may have an eating disorder. When the new season was released back in August, many would become spectacle about Aaron's participation in the show. With her appearance changing recently, many fans were sort of displeased with it. If you compare pictures of Aaron before and after, she surely looks slimmer and fitter. Though the difference is not that huge, Aaron does seem to appear fitter. As the actress's transformation may have stunned many, it's not hard to see why fans have speculated that she has had liposuction done, as her snatched look is usually the results of weight loss caused by liposuction. With Erin's role being a superhero, it surely put pressure on her to be perfect, and part of her role asked her to remain in the best shape and this could be the main reason behind Aaron's weight loss. Though there's not an exact number of how much weight Aaron has exactly lost, it can be said that she lost enough to look stunning in her role as Starlight. But the latest confirming that Aaron previously had bad eating habits before the show, so her weight loss could be caused by her changing her lifestyle, and it proves that you can't always judge a person's appearance by what you read or see online. And number nine, Heidi Klum. It seems like Heidi Klum just can't get a break when it comes to her weight. With having a busy schedule, it has caused the model to lose around 30 to 40 pounds over the last couple of years. While Heidi has always looked stunning, she recently appears to be more skeletal than usual. Now, since Heidi is a model, she's always maintained her body for modeling and also for her health, and people have been concerned about her health since it seems like she dropped her weight way too quickly. With Heidi being 5 foot 10, it seems like she's just far too thin for her frame. While doctors have explained it's common for busy moms to focus on so much before their needs, especially on their children, they forget to eat, and this could be the main reason behind Heidi's strange weight loss. With the model looking like she lost an extreme amount of weight, she also has no muscle tone, which shows that her weight loss had nothing to do with fitness. While people have been worrying about Heidi, she would publicly share her diet after many people became concerned about her health earlier this year. Looking at her body, it's not hard to see why fans have been speculating that the model starves herself to maintain her body, but the truth is, she doesn't, and she just has a strict diet plan and focus on healthy food. Heidi tends to fill her plate with nutrient rich foods such as carbs, lean protein, veggies, and fruit, which help her eat healthy and maintain her body weight at the same time. So while a lot of people have been worried, it seems like Heidi is living a happy and healthy life with her family, and there's nothing to be concerned about when it comes to her health. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in at number eight, we have Raven Simone. Recently, Raven Simone has been receiving a huge amount of backlash after she 
she updated her fans on her weight loss journey. Showing off her weight loss in a video she captioned as pounds down, ear update. Raven could be seen showing off her weight loss in the video and you could see Raven saying, if you all watch Raven's home literally right now and come on this live and see this join, I got a whole different face going on. It's a whole pound down journey. While many fans started to flood to the comments to support the actress, some fans weren't so kind after they learned that she lost over 40 pounds by kicking sugar out of her diet and following a strict keto diet with fasting. With one user writing, I'm gonna have to unfollow for the weight loss plan. I'm in eating disorder recovery and it's triggering and sad to watch people buy into diet culture. Hope you find sustainable living outside of this pound down mentality. Another user write similar sentiments while they said diet culture has you by the neck and instead of accepting it, you should fight back. You're literally starving yourself to lose weight and it's just so sad. While the post definitely drew in mixed reactions, there was still plenty of fans cheering on Raven with love and support. And number seven, Angelina Jolie. So back in August, news would start to circulate that Angelina Jolie had checked herself into a hospital because of extreme weight loss and an eating disorder. This would come years after fans started speculating that the actress was losing an insane amount of weight. While there has always been concerns about Angelina's weight and eating habits, she would finally go to the hospital to get looked at. While Angelina has been really coy when it comes to the exact reason behind her visit, while the visit was a routine checkup, it obviously was a good thing that she was being proactive and taking steps to look after herself. However, insiders would then say that Angelina's hospital admission still raises concerns due to the length of her stay and because she apparently does not appear healthy and that something more severe may be happening to the actress. To get the elephant out of the room, Angelina has been pretty hard on herself and her body to get to where she is in Hollywood right now, and with it, her eating habits have been pretty non-existent. While Angelina has been pictured with veins protruding all over her body due to her extreme thinness, the actress intends to get surgery done to conceal the veins so people stop commenting on her weight. While many people have also suggested that Angelina's weight loss is just the subject of unfounded and unfair rumors, it's definitely upsetting to see people body shame her and make assumptions about her health when they have no idea what her health is like. Number six, Kate Moss. The controversies and criticisms surrounding Kate Moss have been often unfair and highly contradicting. While many people have urged the model to put on some weight, back in July, Kate would finally speak out after decades of being talked down to. While many people such as Zoe Williams have come out to defend the model by saying her slender figure was due to just the way she looks, it would also become inaccurate and unhelpful after Kate came out to say in the Desert Island Dis interview, I was thin because I didn't get fed at shoots or in shows and I've always been thin. The interview would highlight the problems in the modeling industry and therefore the role of the environmental factors models have to deal with. With the modeling industry making body standards extremely unrealistic, it has led to many people to adopt eating disorders so they can achieve the stick figure ideal. And essentially for everyone to realize it's not okay to starve yourself as it's not normal or healthy. At the height of Kate's modeling career, she's had a BMI around 15 to 16, which is well beneath the BMI of 17.5. Even if Kate had not suffered from this illness, it's clear she's not healthy or at a natural weight that she's supposed to be at. With the modeling industry making sure models BMI is under 16, it's unrealistic. And while France, Spain, Italy, and Israel have all now adopted these laws banning ultra thin models, it seems like during Paris Fashion Week, the runways were filled with ultra skinny models. Now, while this law is not to discriminate against anyone, it's simply meant to combat unhelpful beauty standards that have caused physical and mental strain on models themselves and it needs to be fully adopted by the beauty industry completely. Number 5, Gigi Hadid. While fans for years now have been slamming Gigi Hadid's body for being too skinny or too big, Gigi has even smashed critics for being cruel. Back in 2018, Gigi would say, for those of you so determined to come up with why my body has changed over the year, you may not know that I started at 17 and I was not yet diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease. For those of you calling me too big for the industry, you were seeing inflammation and water retention due to that. In March, Gigi would even reveal that while her mom was filming Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she would hide from the film crew. In some of the older episodes, Gigi could be seen talking to Yolanda about her love 
for volleyball, and the struggle to choose between sports and modeling. In recent years, Yolanda has even been receiving a lot of backlash for things she said to her daughters on the show. While fans have believed that the star was putting damaging beliefs on body image into her daughters' minds, it has caused them to have issues with their appearance over the years. In one clip, Yolanda could be seen advising Gigi to give up volleyball as she referred to the sport as a masculine sport, so her body would be too bulky for modeling. She would also be seen pressuring Gigi to stay on a diet where she could be as skinny as other models in Milan. And number four, Sarah Rue. Sarah Rue has always had a long desire to be slim, but she hasn't always had the time to do so due to her career. However, recently everyone has been stunned when it comes to her recent photos as she's successfully been able to lose a huge amount of weight. Sarah has undergone an amazing shift and she looks almost completely unrecognizable when she hits the red carpet showing off her new look. Before losing the weight, Sarah had even been battling with obesity for her whole life and she wanted to shed the excess pounds because they were making her feel miserable. Sarah then chose to trust Jenny Craig's expertise and at the end of the program she even got some excellent results. According to the consultant's advice, the actress reduced her calorie consumption. Sarah reduced her intake of carbohydrates by 50% and she also shunned out all processed meals of any kind. Sarah then opted to increase the number of vegetables she ate and with it, Sarah's been able to shed 50 pounds in an insane amount of time as she went from being a size 14 to a size Six. Sarah has become so dependent on her woman's diet that she's even gone as far as abstaining from meals and she even joined a gym to help her tone down some more. While the star decided to go on a weight loss journey for her mental health, she definitely has always looked great. And number three, Melissa McCarthy. Over the last year, Melissa McCarthy has lost over 75 pounds. And how she chose to do it definitely wasn't it. Now Melissa decided to go on this crazy diet where she only consumed liquids. While the star has stated that she'll never go back to it, she did do it to lose 75 pounds in four months. With Melissa stating that she felt starved and crazy half of the time, a lot of her fans weren't happy with her statement, as no one should ever starve themselves to lose any amount of weight. While Melissa would finally notice that the best diets are the ones you don't make yourself starve on, she decided to go on a low carb diet that seemed to go well for her. Even rumors would start to circulate online that stated Melissa had only dropped the weight because she was also taking a magic keto diet pill. However, for whatever reason, supporting liquid diets, weight loss pills, and extremely restrictive diet aren't healthy and celebrities shouldn't be spreading misinformation about these diets so people follow them as they can actually be quite damaging to their fans that choose to follow the same diet. Number two, Adele. Back in July, Adele would open up about losing 100 pounds in weight and how it caused some of her fans to feel very betrayed by the star. Adele would open up about feeling terrible after she lost a huge amount of weight as it upset some of her body conscious younger fans. The singer who showed off her new skinny figure on the cover of Vogue magazine last year year was so distressed to learn that losing weight caused some of her fans to suffer. Addressing the backlash, she explained that she shedded the pounds for herself after dealing with anxiety. While many fans felt disappointed, Adele gave in to the pressure of being skinny, they were concerned that she wasn't losing the weight safely. While Adele has had to face some major backlash due to her weight loss, it has even prompted her to cancel shows as the backlash has caused her to feel like an empty shell. And she's even said that she won't be shamed as it's not her job to make her fans feel better about their weight. And coming in at number one today, we have Nicole Richie. When Nicole Richie rocketed into fame pretty much overnight following the premiere of The Simple Life, she instantly got put under a very unforgiving microscope. When Paris Hilton has been constantly mocked in the press for getting in trouble with the law and having a party lifestyle, when it came to the tabloid treatment of Nicole Richie, for whatever reason, they always seem to focus on her weight. In the beginning, it seemed like they labeled Nicole as overweight, and now it seems like the star keeps getting bashed for losing a huge huge amount of weight and for being too thin. Nicole has stated that she knows she's too thin right now and she wouldn't want a young girl to look at her and think that they wanted to look like her. Nicole has also noted that when she gets stressed, she loses her appetite and tends not to eat. Unfortunately for Nicole, she is right about some people trying to get a body like her, but the only reason she even has influence on people is because the press always has been obsessed with her figure. Even her fans have been oddly obsessed with her figure with one fan writing, love how skinny she is, I want to be that skinny, still working on it. And this proves that the beauty industry needs to get away from projecting that you need to be skinny to be beautiful because that's not the truth. Coming in at number 10 today, we have Mindy Kaling. Earlier this year, Mindy Kaling opened up about how she changed her view on working out and what the results had on her body. With the 43 year old posting a series of stunning photos of herself looking fit and strong while wearing a stunning white strapless dress, a lot of fans in the comments started to call her out for being super skinny. With one fan saying, oh my 
my god, for real, how did you get so skinny? Please share your secret, another fan would say, you're just gonna gain it all back. Back in May, Mindy would sit down with self for an interview and she would say, in my 20s I thought working out was only effective if it was punishing. You hated it and it was kind of solitary. While Mindy decided to take a different approach to her workouts this time around, she decided to turn walking into a hobby. At least once a day, Mindy will take time out of her day to dedicate it to walking. And if she has four to five times in the day where she can have any time to herself, she also dedicates that time to walking so she won't sit around and play on her phone. Mindy has also opted to do strength training, yoga, and group fitness classes when she has the chance. On top of her new fitness schedule, she's also opted to take on a strict diet that consists of low carbs and many vegetables and fruits. Overall, Mindy has been pretty open about eating anything. While Mindy has stated that it's pretty hard to say how much weight she's lost altogether because she doesn't weigh herself, her results have been pretty stunning and she looks great. Coming in at number nine, Bella Hadid. Bella Hadid is one of the highest paid models in the industry thanks to her strict diet and workout plan. She's been able to maintain a stunning figure. However, when Bella hit the runway for Paris Fashion Week, fans would come for the star and state that she looked extremely too skinny. Even though it was such an iconic moment not only for fashion and art, there were a lot of people questioning if the spray on dress was fashion or was it just iconic because she was skinny. With many fans stating that Bella looks like she lost 20 pounds when she didn't need to, it brought us all to question where the fashion era is going now. For those of us who remember living in the trend of hip hugging jeans and really skinny chic era in the 1990s, the misogynist Nadar of the fashion industry when the catwalks were full of women who frankly looked really sick. While the industry changed just for a short amount of time, it seems like Paris was once again filled with thigh gaps and jutting hip bones. It seems like we're going back to times where the industry insists that thinness equals beauty. However, fashion is so much more than objectifying ourselves to meet what the industry says is beautiful. While Bella couldn't control her shivering on the already chilly runway, as the material hit her skin and she had to breathe in its thick glue odor, it didn't stop her from saying, honey, cold is an understatement. I really blacked out. Still, it was the best day of my life, which makes us ask the better question. Is meeting the industry standards fashion or is Bella just miserable? Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number eight, Doja Cat. This year, Doja Cat got sick of trolls who were constantly commenting on her body online. Back in June, Doja went on Instagram and she used it as an opportunity to address people who think it's okay to make remarks about her weight. With the 26 year old filming herself sitting in front of her laptop, she got Surrey to recite a passage that she wrote in response to people saying that she was too skinny and making creepy comments about her body. In the video, Doja decided to not only hold anything back as she aired out her haters and she also used the time to make it clear that it's never okay to body shame anyone. In the passage, Doja got Suri to say, do I have something to say? A lot of you bees keep bringing up how I'm skinny and won't shut the F up because you think it's okay to speak when it's literally my effing choice to eat more healthy and work out. I'm really effing sick and tired of y'all talking about my body. Doja would then continue to air out her haters by saying, I used to be thick and forever, that's going to be your problem. Your problem, not mine. So you can keep on suffering about how my body looks. V, I'm living my best life and I'm happy, be sad. But Doja adding that it was crazy that fans didn't realize how creepy they sounded when they were comparing her body to a doll, she would end up laughing at the end of the video with Suri saying lol on repeat. Number seven, Kim Kardashian. Back in May after the Met Gala, Kim Kardashian started to face online backlash for continuing to hype her recent rapid weight loss. With the star previously receiving criticism for bragging about the fact that she dropped 16 pounds in three weeks to fit into Marilyn Monroe's iconic bedazzled dress, during an appearance on the Today in June, the reality TV star would brag about how she was now 21 pounds down since before the Met Gala. Kim would even go on to say, I looked at it like a roll. I wanted to wear this dress, it was really important to me. It actually taught me a lot about my lifestyle and my health and since afterwards, I continued to eat really healthy. Kim stating that she feels like she has more energy more than ever after cutting out much sugar and a lot of junk food. She didn't even even realized that she was eating a lot of fried foods until she started to follow a strict diet. When Kim decided to cut out a lot of sugar and carbs for almost a month, she would then be slammed by Lily Reinhart, who claimed it was disgusting for celebrities to admit that they were starving themselves, considering they had a large influence. While Kim has gone on to try to calm her haters down by comparing her transformation work to 
actor such as Christian Bale, she also claimed that she was simply just beginning to eat healthier. With fans telling Kim that it isn't healthy to lose 21 pounds in two months, as it's not sustainable, Kim has continued to use her platform to visibly spread such toxic lifestyles. And number six, Khloe Kardashian. Back in September, Kardashian fans started to express their discomfort for Khloe Kardashian's gleeful reaction to being called really skinny in a shocking scene that we all saw air. Kim would tell Khloe that their sisters, Kendall and Kylie, had texted her saying that they were really concerned about Khloe's overall weight loss. With Kim saying, You look really skinny. I will say that Kendall and Kylie, not that I'm trying to out them, but they did text me and they were a little concerned because you're really skinny. Khloe then appeared to be really happy about the comment as a huge smile was seen creeping across her face. Khloe then ignored the concern from her family and instead let out an exciting gasp. After the episode aired, fans would then start to discuss the episode by saying it was so sad to see Khloe caring so much about her weight. With one writing, she's been told for so long that she's overweight by her family and the media that it can be validating to hear the opposite, especially when people think you're really skinny enough that they're concerned. It's sad though. However, if you go through old pictures, Khloe was never as big as everyone made her seem. With Khloe's star power growing, as soon as she began to undergo a physical transformation, her weight loss became a huge part of establishing her brand. While fans have expressed their concern at the unhealthy weight loss idea that seems to surround the Kardashian family, the show's hyperfixation on losing weight is disappointing. And number five, Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh may be one of the hottest young stars on the rise in Hollywood at the moment, but the climb to the top of Hollywood's food chain hasn't been the easiest for her. In an interview with Telegraph, Florence would open up about how film executives wanted her to change her look to lose weight when she started out in the movie business. Florence was 19 when she made the journey across England to the United States to audition for a series called Studio City. However, the producers on the show told her that if she wanted to succeed, then she needed to transform her appearance. All the things they were trying to change about her included her weight, look, the shape of her face, and the shape of her eyebrows. When Florence got into the film business, it made her feel like she made a massive mistake. Eventually, Florence was able to find roles that made her fall back in love with cinema, where she didn't feel the same pressure. When Florence decided to wear a sheer Valentino hot pink gown to Valentino's couture fashion week show in Rome this year, while majority of us were wrapped around the fact that she looked so elegant and chic, many people weren't so kind and they began to body shame the actor for being too tiny, especially around the breast area. While Florence wasn't here for the shaming, she would state that it's easy for men to totally destroy a woman's body publicly and proudly for everyone to see. Number four, Jessica Simpson. Back in August, Jessica Simpson fans started to express their concerns for the pop star after she appeared to be skinnier than ever. When she opted to post a new bikini photo that showcased her tiny waist and chiseled features, fans started to become extremely worried over the swimsuit photo as Jessica appeared to be extremely thin in the photos and her face was giving onlookers a glimpse of the bone structure underneath. Fans would then take to the comment section to voice their concerns for the ex-reality TV star's shrinking body. With one person writing, read your book and absolutely loved it, I hope you're taking care of your Yourself and prioritizing your health. Another would say, Oh, Jessica, there is a time you just gotta stop. Now, this wouldn't be the first time fans have been worried about Jessica's health and overall weight, as earlier this year, back in May, she posted another photo showing off her excessively thin frame. With many fans asking if the star is okay, it's not hard to notice that the star is completely unrecognizable. Now, before recently, Jessica was always known to be pretty curvy, and her new thin approach to fit into the industry has us wondering if there's something more concerning going on. While Jessica looks stunning both thin and curvy, it's hard to say if she's healthy or thriving. At number 3 we have Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson began her dramatic weight loss journey 2 years ago because she knew her emotional eating habit was unhealthy. However, until recently a lot of us feel like she's been losing weight way too fast. With many fans looking up at the star for being comfortable being in her own skin, she made a lot of people love their larger bodies. As a result, her fans went on to watch her lose weight and they felt like it was the the ultimate betrayal. Although Rebel used to use her side to feel her jokes, she's been trimming down in recent years. Like many stars, Rebel has addressed her weight loss on social media and she's been working really hard to get to her goal weight of 165 pounds. While Rebel has made huge changes to her lifestyle to reach her goal weight, she has also used it to inspire others. When the actress first started to document her fitness journey, it initially led her to lose more than 60 pounds. And when she finally reached her goal weight, she would still continue to lose a huge amount of weight really quickly, which had a lot of us 
concerned. With Rebel working out six days a week and following a strict diet, it has a lot of fans wondering if she's actually losing the weight safely. However, the actress looks good and healthy and she seems to be thriving. And while she may not feel guilty about binging on a pizza every now and then, let's not make her feel guilty about loving her new lifestyle. And number two, Lauren Ash. Superstore actor Lauren Ash opened up about her dramatic weight loss and backlash she received because it was honestly hurtful to read. Back in May, Lauren posted a photo with the caption, you know what's fun? When you're living in a larger body, people say that they're really concerned about your health and then when you transition into a smaller body, people post that they're concerned for your health. Starting to think that there's no winning as a woman. After losing a huge amount of weight over the years, it hasn't stopped people from commenting or DMing the actress about their thoughts surrounding the idea of her weight loss. While the star looks happy and healthy, she can't seem to get over the fact that people have been telling her that she is no longer a role model because she lost weight. As she can't understand why her body was the only thing that made people think she was a role model as she's never once promoted her weight loss and she never would. While the actor is in a smaller body than she was a year ago, she explained that her body will continue to change throughout the years and she has no secret to what led to her weight loss. And coming in at number one today, we have Kendall Jenner. At the start of the year, Kendall started to spark concerns after she shared a picture of herself looking really thin. Now, most models are known for being really skinny. However, some of Kendall's fans worry that she's gone way too far to meet industry standards when she posted a picture back in January. When the 26 year old posted a photo in which she was standing in front of a mirror wearing a tiny black mini skirt and a knee high leather boots, it wouldn't be her outfit that people were commenting on. Instead, they opted to point out that she had pin thin legs and a tiny waist. When the snap appeared on her Instagram page, fans started to express their concerns by saying she looked really thin. With one writing, I don't feel this is a good image to show, and another would say that Jenner looks like skin and bones. While Kendall has never actually responded to fans who were concerned about her weight, the majority of catwalk models continue to remain pin thin, prompting some to accuse the fashion industry, casting agents, of saying one thing and doing another. At number 10, we have the stunning supermodel Ashley Graham. Ashley revealed her experience of being a plus size model in 2017 through the Las Vegas Review Journal, where she admitted to constantly being on the receiving end of fat shaming and bullying comments, but couldn't foresee the pressure of needing to be thin at first. She detailed how this impacted her up to the point of the active pursuit of her modeling career. Ashley also recalled in the interview at the time when a mall talent agency suggested she drop a few pounds so she could quote become a model. Ashley discussed not feeling too hurt about remarks like these until her father soon joined the bandwagon of body shaming. She admitted, the really hard moment was when my dad said, honey, if an agent is telling you to lose weight, then maybe you should lose weight. I was 15 standing in our living room having a moment I will never forget. I never had a parent tell me to lose weight and it hurt. But rather than blame her father for his words, Ashley chose instead to place the blame on the modeling industry and their unrealistic standards for beauty. In light of her father's words, Ashley described him to be thinking like a businessman and knew that it wasn't his lack of love for her, but his drive to help her succeed being the reason behind it all. At number 9, we have Hunger Games actress Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer spoke out at Elle's Women in Hollywood event back in 2017 about how humiliating and degrading the film industry deals with and approaches body image. In her own words, Jennifer vented about how subjective their views are, explaining, When I was much younger and starting out, I was told by producers of a film to lose 15 pounds in two weeks. During this time, a female producer had me do a nude lineup with about five women who were much much thinner than me. We all stood side by side with only tape on covering our privates and the female producer told me I should use the naked photos of myself as inspiration for my diet. Adding on to the statement as well, Jennifer described the experience as making her feel trapped and talked about how she now continuously reminds herself that she deserves to be treated with respect. At number 8 we have Friends star Jennifer Aniston who told Rolling Stone back in 1996 that her agent informed her to slim down to conform to Hollywood's it list. When Jennifer recalled her experience of needing to make it in Hollywood, she described the occurrence as such. My agent gave it to me straight. The disgusting thing of Hollywood, I wasn't getting lots of jobs because I was too heavy. Jennifer was reported to have lost an entirety of 30 pounds before her audition for the hit sitcom Friends, adding that she never believed she would have been cast as main character Rachel Green if she hadn't taken on the decision to lose weight as suggested. 
At number 7 we have Stranger Things actor David Harbour. In 2017 he disclosed to The Wrap about how he landed an audition to play the Wolverine's blob in the then upcoming film. Apparently a casting director made comments that David was perfect for the quote big fact character. In response David recalled jokingly telling the director that the offer was flattering but the casting director continued by explaining how they needed a big guy to fit into the suit. In a maturity one could not find in me, David proceeded to attend the audition anyway, where he jokingly flashed his stomach to the director with the words, I've got your blob right here. Ironically enough, following the audition, the director suddenly expressed concerns regarding David's weight at the time. In the director's words, according to David, he said, David, look, you're wonderful. We really think you're a great actor. We're just really concerned. You lifted up your shirt and we're just a little worried about your health. Still discussing this with the rap, David finalized that his response to this was, wait a minute, you're telling me I'm too fat to play the blob? At number 6 we have the legendary model Tyra Banks. Now Tyra holds many titles, most of which are TV personality, businesswoman, producer, actress and writer. But among those, no one can ever forget how she made a huge name for herself for modeling. Still Tyra, who is arguably one of the greatest supermodels to exist, once told Business Insider about how she faced a lot of body image difficulties and unrealistic realistic weight expectations while she worked in the modeling industry. In the sit down she took a trip down memory lane when describing how she was referred to as too big by Milan Fashion Week designers during the height of her career in her younger days. Apparently they informed her mother that her figure was getting too full, especially in her butt. And following this, Tyra also received a list of designers who no longer had any interest in working with her. Upon the revelation, Tyra cried to her mother about her then options, where she detailed, I was like, mom, okay, what should I do? Should I diet? Should I work? Out twice a day? Should I just have salads for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Thankfully, Tyra recalled her mom instantly shutting down her ideas and made sure to be clear when she stated how she would be damned if her daughter starved for the modeling industry. At number five, we have English actor Sam Claflin. In 2017, Sam spoke with the Sydney Morning Herald that he was struggling with major self confidence and body image issues while he worked in the film industry. He reminisced about one particular time when he was doing a job and someone forced him to pull his shirt up. They then began grabbing his body, telling Telling him he needed to lose weight. In another instance, Sam recalled being slapped like a piece of meat. To summarize his overall feelings about the issue, Sam stated, I'm not saying it's anywhere near as bad as what women go through, but I, as an actor approaching each job, am insecure, especially when I have to take my top off in it. I get really worked up to the point where I spend hours and hours in the gym and not eating for weeks to achieve what I think they're going for. Sam continued by adding that the pressure to maintain a muscular and slim physique portrayed an unrealistic body image that is is practically unobtainable. In Sam's words, this achievement is quote anything but normal. At number 4 we have the I Feel Pretty leading actress and comedian Amy Schumer. Amy has been extremely vocal about being confident in her own body. Despite this, her outspoken ways have not excluded her from being a victim of body shaming, specifically while she was filming her 2015 hit movie Trainwreck. Amy broke down the criticism she was presented with from the movie's producers during a Jonathan Ross talk show appearance in the UK. During this she explained, it was explained to me before I did that movie Trainwreck that if you weighed over 140 pounds as a woman in Hollywood, if if you're on the screen, it'll hurt people's eyes. Amy continued her sit down by going over the details of how it was hinted that those same people nearly wanted her to believe it was initially her idea to lose weight, rather than just deal it realistically. Unfortunately, Amy eventually caved into the pressure, not sure what other options were available for her. In regards to this, the star detailed, I lost some weight to do that, but never again. Thankfully, the whole ordeal was a learning experience that didn't send the actress comedian on a downward spiral in an unhealthy direction from the pressures of Hollywood's manipulations and obsession with being underweight. At number 3 we have Mean Girls actress and former behind the screen boss lady for SNL. This comedian, writer, producer and playwright genius made her big break in Hollywood with Saturday Night Live. But her transition from writing for the show behind the scenes to being on screen during filming came with some complications. When Lorne Michaels brought about the decision, Tina was heavily encouraged to lose a minimum of 30 pounds. Reportedly, Hollywood agent Sue Menjers informed Lorne that Tina did not have have the look to be on screen. At the time, Tina had no other words to listen to but Sue's, which resulted in her dropping the recommended weight and then some to transform her overall look. Conclusively, Tina eventually became so thin that her friends were growing concerned about whether or not the comedian was starving herself. Nowadays though, Tina has had a completely different and more mature mindset than that of the one before and has molded herself far more comfortably into her current body. Good on Tina for no longer bending to Hollywood's extremely expectant will. 
At number two, we have Rising Euphoria star Jacob Elordi. His role as Nate Jacobs is considered to be his most popular, alongside his leading role and reprisal for Noah Flynn in Netflix's original franchise, The Kissing Booth. When the Australian native sat down with Men's Health magazine in 2020, Jacob admitted that the fitness routine for TKB resulted in him keeping himself busy in the gym twice a day for the full seven days a week. Quote, I trained extensively for the first film because it said it in the script. I was so terribly nervous that I wouldn't be what the script wanted me to be. And according to Men's Health, the comments and suggestions surrounding Jacob's physical appearance forced him into a dark corner of feeling like fans were solely focused on his looks and not the work he put into acting out his roles. He described being bothered by everyone's need to talk about his body once he was thrown into the world of being in the spotlight at a young age. Jacob also opened up about his decision to get smaller for his HBO role in Euphoria. Discuss his reconsideration of how he looks at his body and not to make the same mistake of training to prepare for the Kissing Booth sequel. In short, he said the first film was all about sculpting and making sure I had this figure that I thought the character needed. Now, it's much more functional as opposed to actual aesthetics. At number one, we have probably one of the most extreme celebrity stories of being forced to drop pounds to fit Hollywood's expectations. For this, we have a late icon by the name of Judy Garland, who was an actress and singer in her time. Despite her situation not emerging years and years later, Judy faced quite harrowing conditions throughout her career. Her suffering reportedly started at just about 14 years old when she successfully role in her first featured film, a college football inspired musical called Pigskin Parade. There were claims made that while Judy was filming her scenes, MGM referred her as a quote, fat little pig with pigtails. Of course, back in 1936, the contracts for studios were outrageous and producers practically had endless control their actors. So what did they do with her? Well, they forced Judy to partake in her first diet where apparently food was literally being ripped out of her young hair. The next few years showed no signs of slowing down either. When Judy was 18, she landed her most prominent role in The Wizard of Oz. And where things seemed great on screen, they were anything but off screen. It was also revealed at one point that for this feature, Judy had no choice but to go on get another diet of consuming only coffee and chicken soup, as well as needing to smoke 80 cigarettes a day to curb her appetite. Even worse, as if it could get any worse, Judy was reported fed a pill typically made to prevent her from feeling hungry. The horrific treatment Judy suffered at the hands of her production company went on to damage her health lifelong, as she suffered from eating disorders throughout the remainder of it. Starting off our list today at number 10, we have Kim Kardashian. When Kim Kardashian puts her mind to something, she can accomplish anything. So when the star wanted to accomplish her dream body, she clearly put in the work in the gym. Later, she would then talk about her journey with women's health when she told the outlet, when it comes to booty and legs, we usually work out an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. However, her weight loss techniques did come a little controversial just ahead of the Met Gala last year when she opted to starve herself and amp up her workout routines in the process so she could just fit into the Marilyn Monroe Happy Birthday Mr. President gown. Kim's dangerous weight loss technique didn't come without any consequences as the star did suffer from a psoriasis flare up and it was so bad she was even having trouble moving her hands because she was in so much pain. Number 9, Ariel Winter. Back in 2019, Ariel showed off some noticeable weight loss. She would then go on to share that she started doing some intense gym sessions and when she found the right mental health medications, it would lead to her unexpected weight loss. She would then tell Woman's Health, years ago, it was hard because I'd go to the gym with my trainer and because of my antidepressants medications, I never saw results. Eventually, Ariel decided to switch up her medications and she would note that she didn't do it for aesthetic reasons. When she said, I didn't change my antidepressants because I wanted to lose weight. I just accepted it and it was fine. I got inspired to actually find medication that helped me as a person and it did all the things I wanted it to do. But with her transformation, she's become a completely different person which has us wondering if maybe she was swapped out in the industry for a lookalike. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming back to the list today, in the number 8 spot we have Christina Aguilera. Back in 2013, Christina Aguilera lost 50 pounds so quickly to the point that she had us all wondering what her secret was, especially since she took off time from The Voice to do so. Christina would then speak about her journey saying, it's amazing what having some personal time can do, not only for the body but also for the mind and spirit. 
A source close to Christina would then expose her weight loss secrets to people by telling the media outlet she's been trying new types of foods and exploring new methods of exercise. The source then went on to say she wasn't doing so to go on a diet or to lose weight, but she just wanted to have a better mindset and well-being so she could have a better overall sense of good health. Christina also went on to credit her weight loss to Reiki, an ancient Asian practice that's said to heal your body and mind for her weight loss. Number seven, Jessica Simpson. When Jessica Simpson lost 100 pounds after giving birth to her third child, she would open up about how she found peace with her body after saying her role in the 2005 film Dukes of Hazards created an unrealistic gold standard for her body. After she was seen parading her envy inducing legs in a pair of super shorts while portraying Daisy Duke, the mom of three said the image from the movie has been used as a before picture for every is she fat or is she thin story for the rest of her career, which is just wrong. Why do we have to judge weight when we should be hyping women and their beauty up, period. Jessica then went on to praise her celebrity trainer, Harley Patternack, as she went on to say that he eased her into activity slowly. When he started her workout routine with 6,000 steps daily, then he told E! News later he did this because it was a social thing that she would be able to do with her kids and he built up her steps slowly with her reaching 14,000 steps a day. And it clearly worked, so give it a try. Number six, Jennifer Hudson. Back in 2010, Jennifer Hudson would end up turning heads on the red carpet after she was able to drop from a size 16 to a size six. After she decided to team up with Weight Watchers, since joining the weight loss company, the star has been able to keep the 80 pounds off since. The actress would then later open up about her weight loss and using Weight Watchers when she sat down for an interview with Good Housekeeping. She then went on to tell the outlet, I don't really have time to do much working out, so I really just had to watch what I eat. Jennifer then went on to know that's why she was able to accomplish all of her weight loss goals. She then went off at the end to say, I'm very careful and cautious of what I'm eating, so I just try to pace out those meals throughout the day. I'm very conscious of what I put in my body. Number five, Sarah Rue. When actress Sarah Rue shared her journey with Shape, she would gloat about how she used Jenny Craig to help her with her overall weight loss journey. She would then go on to tell the media outlet, I was never really able to lose weight on my own. Clearly it was something I was struggling with, so I wanted a program that provides extra support. With Jenny Craig being a program that provides its users with as much support as they need, Sarah was able to do the whole fitness thing on her terms. She then decided to rely on professional training help to help her create a fitness plan and follow it as she really didn't have any idea or clue about working out, so she really just needed someone to tell her what to do. But in the end, it ended up turning out great for the star. She was able to drop 50 pounds. However, even though the star looks stunning now, she's always been stunning, but I'm glad to see that she's finally comfortable in her own skin. Number four, Melissa McCarthy. Whether you love Melissa McCarthy or not, she has proven herself to be talented no matter what people have to say about her. Well, back in 2011, Melissa would tell People Magazine that she was able to lose around 75 pounds after she really put her body and mindset to work. With the actress being able to fit into a size 14 dress, she would know it was thanks to her laid back lifestyle that allowed her to kick her life into overdrive to work on her overall image. While everyone was asking themselves at home, what did Melissa do to lose all the weight? She would later clear up all the rumors surrounding her weight loss when she told Extra that there was no trick and nothing to tell because she was actually just living a really boring life outside of her acting work. So then she went on to know that when you bring everything down and you don't have anything fun to do, you go to bed around 7.30 and that's what her trick was. But I once heard another celebrity say that they tell everybody their lives are boring so they just leave them alone. So she probably actually has a really fun life and doesn't want to tell us the truth so we don't catch her on the dance floor in a Ibiza with Margot Robbie at 3am. Number three, Jordan Sparks. When American Idol star Jordan Sparks was able to lose around 18 pounds in 18 months in 2012, E! News would report on the singer's journey. Later, Jordan would then sit down for an interview with Shape, and in the interview she would tell the outlet, I just wanted to be 
healthy. I remember thinking, I'm in my prime. I should be happy and fit. Jordan then went on to note that she started walking every day and watching her portion sizes. She then worked with a trainer to help build her muscle. She then went to tell Redbook that there is no quick or magical way to lose weight and if you want to do it, you have to do it in natural ways. And that's by sticking to your exercise and diet routine. And you just have to not only believe in yourself, but you also have to believe that you can do it and you have to do it at your own pace. Number two, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen began his acting career when he joined the cast of the 1999 series Freaks and Geeks. With the growth of his career making him a household name, fans would start to notice that his appearance has changed frequently over time. And the topic of Seth Rogen's weight loss has actively been starting to hit headlines since back in 2009 after he was seen losing 30 pounds so he could play the role Ronnie in the film Observe and Report. The actor's weight loss impressed fans so much he would later reveal in an interview that everyone wanted to talk to him about his new appearance. Years later, fans are still gushing about him as he appeared on the cover of GQ Summer Issue, then again after he was seen losing even more weight to play a role in the 2022 series Pam and Tommy. But honestly, Seth has always looked really good and I just have one question for him. When can I star in a movie with you cause that would be comedy gold. And coming in number one today we have Ross Matthews. So this year's season of RuPaul's Drag Race has been surprising at best, as we've seen everyone from Sugar and Spice showing us some stunning transformations on that catwalk. However, with saying that, when Ross Matthews, who is known for being one of the judges on the hit reality TV show, unveiled his impressive weight loss in November of 2020, our draws would draw. Ross would then go on to share his journey on his Instagram, where he would say in a caption section, breaking the pattern, 50 pounds down from my weight in early June when I decided to reclaim my health after my mom passed away, 70 pounds down from my old time. He then went on to note that he will continue to work on himself in progress and that he may mess up again, but for now he was very grateful for everything he has, everything he's accomplished, and he was really happy to see what the world had in store for him. <laughs> 